People Spotting with a Fairy Part 2 at the Smiths Family I will fly to the Smiths now. A lot of things are happening at their place. This is the Smith family. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, their two children and Grandma Smith live together. We like to have visitors. They have visitors. Uncle Jack is the brother of Mr. Smith and Aunt Emma is the wife of Uncle Jack. They are visiting with their dog buddy. Sarah is also visiting. She is Lily's classmate. Sarah often visits Lily and she stays for the night. Sarah's my best friend. Lily is drawing a picture of her cat on a piece of paper. You are a nice black cat with yellow eyes. She is looking for her yellow crayon for the eyes, but she can't find it. Where is my yellow crayon? She stands up to search around the room. I'm here. Lily finds the yellow crayon under the table and goes back to finish her drawing. She draws beautiful yellow eyes for the cat. She notices Max playing with his ball near the lamp in the corner. I am the best football player. Max kicks his ball. The ball hits the lamp, making it shake. He quickly catches the lamp before it falls. Oh, I am lucky the lamp didn't break. Max sees Buddy. He decides to play fetch with him. Buddy chases the ball towards Aunt Emma, who's chopping a cucumber in the kitchen. Aunt Emma is making a vegetable salad with cucumber. She drops some pieces on the floor. Oh my god! She picks up the pieces and washes them again. Uncle Jack walks in to help Emma and knocks over a jug of water. Uncle Jack tries to grab the jug, but water spills on the floor. Oh my god! He quickly grabs a mop to clean up the mess. After cleaning, he decides to open a window for fresh air, but it is stuck. We need some fresh air. He pulls on the window a few times. It opens. Fresh air comes into the apartment. The breeze from the window catches Grandma Smith's attention as she is knitting in her rocking chair in the living room. The fresh air is really nice. Grandma Smith is knitting a scarf, enjoying the fresh air from the window. This will be a beautiful scarf for my granddaughter. She drops her needles and they clink on the floor. She picks them up and sits back comfortably. I'll finish this scarf today. Grandma Smith finishes another row of the scarf and decides it's time for a tea break. As she stands up, 
She asks Mrs. Smith if she'd like to join her for tea. Shall we have some tea? That's a great idea. Mrs. Smith agrees to join Grandma Smith for tea and starts boiling water in the kettle. Herb tea is the best for the night. While waiting, Grandma puts some cookies on a plate for them to enjoy. Let's have some cookies with the tea. The kettle whistles, and she pours the hot water into five cups, one for each adult. As they sit down with their tea, Mr. Smith comes in from the bathroom after a refreshing shower. He's wearing his comfortable pajamas and has a smile on his face. He smells the aroma of herb tea. I smell tea. It smells so good. Mrs. Smith gives him a cup of tea and he gives her a kiss. I love you, darling. They drink tea and chat about their day and make plans for tomorrow. Mr. Smith goes to the living room to see what Max is doing. Max is throwing a softball for Buddy to chase in the living room. Buddy runs after the ball, sliding on the floor. Max laughs and pets Buddy, who wags his tail happily. Lily, after finishing her drawing, joins them. Lily decides to make a race course for Buddy with pillows. She tells Max where to put the pillows while Buddy watches. Buddy knows what the pillows are for. Buddy jumps over the pillows easily. After the fun, Lily helps Max tidy up the pillows. Aunt Emma comes in from the kitchen. She suggests they read a bedtime story. Let's read a nice story about a cat and a dog. They all like the idea. Lily calls Sarah to join them. Sarah, where are you? Come listen to a nice story about a dog and a cat. They go to the bedroom and sit with blankets. Aunt Emma reads a short story about a cat and a dog. The kids listen and look happy. Their cat and the dog are also happy. Once upon a time, there was a cat and a dog. They were good friends. When the story finishes, they all feel sleepy. They had a nice end to their day. The Smiths and their guests are going to bed now. We can join them if you want. Please subscribe and leave a comment if you want to watch them as they all prepare for bed in their bedrooms. cookies and share happy stories Lily builds a pillow track Buddy jumps then they pack Story time of cat and dog Simple tale no one shot End of day they rest their head Kids asleep in cozy beds 
join the channel, ring the bell. We've got more stories to tell. Join the channel, ring the bell. We've got more stories to tell.